Hi friends, this is Zuzu. Welcome to the Bible Flix. Today's storybook is called The Action Bible, God's Redemptive Story by David Cook. The story of today is called Birthright Stew, based on Genesis chapter 25 through 26. After a long and happy life, Abraham finally joins his wife in death. Isaac leads Abraham's tribe to the burial cave of Machpelah to place the body of its great chief tan besides his wife Sarah. But Isaac, like his father, has gone a long time without having any children. Rebecca is barren. We've tried every remedy known to man. Nothing has worked. Now I must pray to God and trust his promise. The Lord answers Isaac's prayers and Rebecca becomes pregnant. But her pregnancy seems unusual. When they inquire of the Lord, he tells Rebecca that she is pregnant with twins. You will give birth to two nations. One will be stronger than the other. When Rebecca gives birth, her first son is reddish and hairy, and they name him Esau. But clutching Esau's heel is Jacob, who does not want to be left behind. As the boys grow up, Isaac earns a reputation as a man who avoids conflict. But Isaac failed to see the conflict growing between his own t twin son. Which one will be our ruler after Isaac? Esau is stronger, but Jacob is more clever. Esau has the birthright because he is the oldest, but I'd be surprised if Jacob doesn't do something tricky. If I were Isaac, I'd pay more attention to the competition between those two boys. One day, when Esau returned with fresh food from hunting, Isaac praises him. Esau is a mighty hunter. Yes, he's strong as an ox and dumb as one too. Jacob bides his time one morning during a hot spell Esau sets out for a hunting trip. This is the chance Jacob has been waiting for. Esau will find game at the waterhole miles away from here. When he gets back from the long day's hunt, he'll be tired and hungry. I'll be ready for him. Toward sundown, Jacob waits for his brother outside camp. Here, here he comes. And without any game, didn't he catch anything? Camp with its food is only a short distance away, but Isa is so hungry he can't wait. I'm starving. Give me some of your stew you're making. Will you trade your birthright for it? Well, that's a dumb question. Is a birthright tasty and filled with savory meat? I'll take the stew. Here's the stew. Swear that your birthright is mine. I promise. The birthright is yours. I'm dying of hunger. Let me eat. Here, eat all you want. Esau's birthright is mine. Someday I will inherit a double share of my father's wealth. I will rule the tribe, not Esau. But Jacob has a long time to wait. His father is still strong and powerful, and as Isaac grows older, it becomes clear that Esau is his favorite son. Jacob realizes that tricking Esau into giving him the birthright is not enough. Somehow he must convince his father to give him the family blessing as well. For all his tricky plots, Jacob can't disobey his father. 
His father, Isaac, is the head of the family. His mother, Rebecca, however, is the brains. Isaac doesn't know that Jacob has already claimed the birthright that belongs to Esau. Find my son Esau. Tell him that I must see him right away. The end. Thank you so much for watching. Please give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's Bible Flick story. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends and family. Tune in next time. Bye.